They called it the family nosebleed thing, but it was something far more serious. Yeah, it's a disease that affects one in 5,000 people in the U.S., and if left untreated, it can be deadly. In tonight's Insight Report, news specialist Heather Simonson reports on a mother's fight to keep herself and her baby healthy. He's a good buddy. There's nothing like a new baby. You want your binky? Don't fight it. Ten fingers, ten toes. He loves his binky, but he hates his binky. Except... I think I just kind of steeled myself to be prepared for that. Finian has HHT, a genetic disorder of the blood vessels. So does his mother, Chelsea. I could tap my nose like that and just gushing blood. She and her brother had frequent heavy nosebleeds as kids and didn't know why. Then at 16, I'd never felt such a worse headache in my life. Her brain hemorrhaged, but was misdiagnosed as meningitis. Doctors diagnosed her with HHT four years later, two months ago, in the middle of the night. Her eyes rolled back in her head and she, she couldn't breathe. She was just struggling really hard to breathe, so she started to turn blue. The seizure put her into labor. Doctors tested Finian right away. You know, everyone just thinks he's a miracle. But doctors often misdiagnose the symptoms. The first step is getting tested. Samples come here from all over the world. They isolate the DNA and look for genetic markers. HHD is a devastating disorder if you do not know you have the disease. ARUP scientists discovered a fourth gene associated with HHT, which has led to advances. The clinical diagnostic test that we can use to say a patient has HHT at the molecular level or not. Oh, he is so sweet. Jamie McDonald helped create the HHT Center for Excellence. She also counsels Chelsea. She's got a very nice, very nice brain. She okay, has added insight because Jamie, around. too, has the disorder. Not only sympathetic, but empathetic, you know, just been where I've been. It's a team approach to research and treatment. If this is a normal blood vessel, artery, vein, with capillaries between um, the artery and vein, an AVM is, is like this. AVMs are deadly malformations that form in the brain, lungs, and liver. Blood vessels missing capillaries, causing shunting and hemorrhage. Ah. Yes, Jamie has a passion for treating the disease. She was once that young mother. Of course, I still think of, I still think about her. She's still part of our family. 20 years ago, her 18-month-old daughter Kelsey had a large brain AVM. During a procedure to fix it, Kelsey passed away. My now uh, 26 and 27-year-old kids have a picture of her in, in their room. She's very much a part of the family mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. It became her People life's work, helping patients that. like Chelsea, who just did something she never thought she'd be able to do climb a mountain. I think I cried. <laughs> I think I was just like, okay, I can't believe I just did this. Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News. Very helpful, Heather. If you have a parent or sibling with HHT, you have a 50% chance of having it yourself. Scientists say 90% of people with this disorder don't know they have it. It's important.